Okay, this is a quick video to show you a couple of things that you can do um, with the release of uh, Chrome version 27. For those of you at my uh, school, Chrome 27 will be um, being deployed to your PCs as I speak, so uh, after a couple of reboots you'll find that you've got Chrome 27, or you should have. Um, so a couple of things you can do. First of all, you can pin applications, Chrome applications, to your taskbar so you can see here I've got all my Chrome applications and if you right click on any of them let's say Google search then you can um, control how it launches first of all you've not seen that before that's not new though if you create shortcut you can either create a desktop shortcut or pin to the taskbar or do both I'll just create a desktop shortcut and you'll see that I've got a desktop shortcut to Google search there now um, I'm going to get rid of that because I don't particularly want that there. You can see down the bottom on my taskbar I've pinned quite a few applications. And just to give you an idea of what it does, this is Google Document for example. So if I click on that, open it up, and I've got a new document. So I've got my sort of word processor window there. It doesn't come with any of the other gumph at the top that you might get with a browser. It's just that application and nothing else which is quite handy and it behaves just like a local application really and you can do this for any of your your apps so I've got um, I've got a document spreadsheet Google slides presentation drawing that's lucid charts that's um, Google Plus YouTube drive mail and so on I've got blogger here and Google keep as well so that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is is to add the um, Chrome Launcher, which I've got here. So this is a bit like um, a Chromebook. So you can see that I can whiz through all my apps without having even to go into a um, browser window, just like you would do on a uh, Chromebook. Or you know, I've forgotten where they are. I can search for it by name. Adding this at the moment is a little bit of a uh, a dark art and it involves adding a packaged application from the Chrome Web Store. So if you go to Chrome Web Store this is the one that you need to find and it's called text. However if you try and search for text you'll have um, a hard time finding it. Um, so you really need the URL which is here and on the blog post that this video is on there is a link that you can click on that will take you straight here and then you need to add this text editor and this text editor in its own right is quite neat because it's a um, it's a packaged app so it's an application that uses Chrome it'll run offline um, and it's quite a nice little text editor and um, quite a good one to use with a Chromebook as well you can save it and save as do the sorts of things you would do with a normal text editor like notepad okay um, once you add text it will give you the option of adding the Chrome app launcher and it'll put it as a desktop shortcut which I've got here if I click on that it'll appear down here um, but you can pin it to the start uh, the taskbar like I've done there and then you've got your launcher I'm guessing in the future they'll make that a little bit more obvious how to do it with future releases of Chrome but you can do that now. Anyways, two new features of Chrome if you're interested in giving them a go.